What's good, YouTube? It's Gabriel, just on the Fan TV. Back got you another video. Like the content of this video, go hit that like button. Like the content of this channel, go ahead and subscribe. Thank you guys for pushing this channel past 300 subscribers. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that button, man. I got plenty of Ravens, got plenty of NFL content coming along. So look, Ravens news as of today, right? Um, Y'all see the title of the video, Ravens creates cap space. So what's going on? How did they do it? Well, basically what they did is they, they restructured Marlon Humphrey's contract, okay? So Marlon Humphrey was scheduled to get $10 million in the base salary this season. They converted $8.9 million of that into a signing bonus, leaving the Ravens with $7 million in cap space for this upcoming season as of right now. More restructures could come to open up more cap space, but as of right now, $7.1 million, right? Now, that's interesting for multiple reasons, right? Um... The Ravens had one of the lowest cap numbers before this. I think they had like $700,000 in cap space, which obviously isn't going to sign anybody. Um, also, the Ravens know that you need space going into training camp. Now, why is that? Players could get hurt. Injuries are a part of the game. Somebody gets hurt, you don't have nobody to sign anybody, you're in trouble. All right. Um, what else? just signing players in general the Ravens need more bodies just in general so we're talking about they can still sign the outside linebacker pass rusher because they're they're not thin at that position but they can still probably use another guy uh no Ravens fans we, we get tired of having this discussion but the Ravens need to sign a wide receiver right and I'm not talking about somebody who's going to take away from the young guys I'm just talking about a veteran that can be another body just because they have four guys with NFL experience and the rest are undrafted free agents that's not enough to go into the season. It's just not. It'd be irresponsible to do that about two position right now. So they need another another guy there. And you know, it's just nice to have flexibility in general. Um, you know, if anything comes up, trade uh, a player who gets cut un not unexpectedly, but say somebody who's a cap casualty on another team, you want to sign them, but you don't have the funds available. So this this move, while it's not surprising. Um, it's a good move for the Ravens, right? This is a new move that needed to happen. It happens every offseason. The Ravens restructure contracts quite often. And, um, you know, I mean, it's not a bad thing for the player either. You know, the player gets a lot of this money that was going to get spread out over 17 weeks. He gets a lot of that money up front. So it's kind of a it's kind of a win-win situation for the guy sometimes. So now Marlon Humphrey um, obviously is an important player to this team. So, you know, with his contract, he probably had one of the cap, higher cap hits on this team just because he had one of the biggest contracts on the team. So it made sense to do that with him. Um, now, what could the Ravens... Now, the guys, the kind of guys, guys the Ravens could be targeting. Excuse me, I'm sorry about that. Um, Jason Pierre-Paul obviously came in for a visit. We know about that. Um, there's still some free agent wide receivers out there. Now, there's a Julio Jones out there. There's guys like Will Fuller out there. Now, there's also guys with lower profiles, but... Those are the two main wide receivers that I think the Ravens flock have been um, eyeing since probably this entire free agency period as guys who were realistic targets. So I'm interested to see what they do with this or do they just hold it until, um, say, something happens, you know? Is, it, is this just a just in case of, a, of an emergency, we got some space, or is this a move that's imminent and we needed the space to make this move happen? That we don't know, that we can speculate on, and that's what we're doing right now, speculating on what the move could be. Um, now, if it came down between maybe sign outside linebacker, sign a receiver, um, I, I think personally I would sign a receiver. Um, that that'll be what the direction that I would lean to. Um, just because the Ravens need another body there, it doesn't have to be Julio Jones, it doesn't have to be Will Fuller, but they need they need a competent veteran who can help not take away a bunch of snaps from the young guys, but who can contribute in his own right if he's put on the field. You know, there's no point in just having a veteran just to have a veteran. Um, you know, so this is interesting, right? Uh, I think also it could ha have an effect maybe on the offensive line. We know offensive line is a grueling, rigorous position, you know, and if somebody goes down there, you're going to need money to sign somebody. Uh, we see it happen very often in training camp, you know, offensive line. You know, you rolled up on a lot of contact every play, so you need you need cap flexibility just in case something happens. And I think that's what the biggest thing the Ravens are doing. Um, I don't know if a deal is imminent, a move is imminent. It just seems like they're doing it for flexibility because they had, like I said, they had under a million dollars in cash space. 
they literally had I think about seven hundred thousand dollars in um in cash space, which for the NFL NFL team is nothing. That's not even going to get you a uh, a player really on a minimum contract. Uh, so this move was necessary. The Ravens did what they needed to do to make it happen. Marlon Humphrey helped the team out, um, but he also you know it's not like it helped himself out too because he gets a lot of his money up front instead of having to wait you know over the next four months or whatever it may be. Um, so this Ravens move is one that's kind of a wait and see. What happens next? Do we do we sign a veteran outside linebacker, sign a veteran wide receiver? Do we just hold it, see what happens from there? Um, so this move is a wait and see move, but it's a move that was absolutely necessary. It needs to be done. And that the Ravens, it will help the Ravens because if something does arise, an injury or an opportunity, like I said, a cap cows you on another team, guy gets released, you want that player, you can go get him. Um, it makes the, the Ravens flexible for any scenario right now because when it was under a million dollars, there was nothing that they could do. But now when they're about, uh, yeah, so 7.1 million dollars, now they have a lot more flexibility, a lot more range of what they can do. Um, they can still restructure other contracts too, you know, uh, Marcus Peters, uh, Ronnie Stanley, if they wanted to create more cap space. Those are guys who obviously have high numbers where they could restructure their contracts and create more cap space if needed. Um, but they started with Marlon Humphrey. It helped out a lot. Uh, $7.1 million in cap space. Now it's up to the Ravens to see what they're going to do with it. And that's the interesting part. So um, just want to give an update about the Ravens cap situation. Uh, it's your boy Gabriel, just on the fan TV. I'm out.